This lesson is part of the TI Inspire CXCAS Technology Student Course. In this lesson, we will look at creating and managing documents. Let's begin by pressing the Doc key for Documents. Choose File, then New Document. We're now invited to choose the application for the first page of our document. We'll make that a calculator. Notice that when we do that, the tag 1.1 appears in the upper left corner. This means Problem 1, Page 1. Let's do a calculation for the cost of buying 9 liters of petrol, where the price per liter is advertised as 157 and 6 tenths cents. Now that's really $1.57.6 cents. Since we'll be using that price per liter in other applications, we'll store this as a numerical variable we'll call P. To do this, key in 1.576, then control var. See the sto above that key? That stands for store. Then P, then enter. The arrow tells us that the variable P now has the value 1.576 throughout this entire problem. Okay, let's find the cost for 9 liters of petrol. Simply key in 9 times P, or 9P. Notice that P is in bold because Inspire has remembered it's a variable. And press Enter. We're now going to insert a second page into this problem. It will be a graphs application. One way to do this is to press Control, then I for Insert, and choose Graphs. Notice how this is tagged 1.2, meaning Problem 1, Page 2. After the equal sign, P in P times X. Notice how the variable P in bold, is remembered from page 1.1, where 1.576 was stored as its value. Now press Enter, and you'll see a linear graph with a gradient of 1.576. Now let's add a third page to this problem. We'll do this by pr pressing Control, then Doc. See the plus page above the Doc key? Then choose Add Lists and Spreadsheet. This is now page 1.3, Problem 1, page 3. In column A, cell A1, we'll enter 9 from the petrol example we used earlier. In cell B1, press Equals to start a calculation, then P. Notice how, again, it's remembered from page 1.1. Then times A1 and press Enter. So we've created a three-page problem. To get an overall view of the structure of problem one, press Control, then Up. And the three screens appear in miniature. Use the directional arrows on the keypad to select any one of those pages. Press Enter, and you'll be back on that page. If you want to delete one of those pages, return to the overall structure view, control up, highlight the page you wish to delete, say the graphs page 1.2, and press Dell. And the lists and spreadsheets page becomes the new page 1.2. Now, if you've made a mistake and wish to undelete that graphs page, Press Control, then Escape, and the page will be returned to Problem 1. Press Enter to return to that page of Problem 1. Now, let's suppose you want to work on an algebraic question and use P as a pronumeral in a quite different situation. It's best, then, to insert a new problem where P is not stored with a particular numerical value as it was in Problem 1. To insert a new problem, press Doc, then Insert, then Problem. Now choose Add Calculator, and you'll see that this is now tagged as page 2.1, Problem 2, Page 1. 
Let's expand brackets 4p minus 1, close brackets to the power of 3. From the menu, choose Algebra, then Expand. In the brackets, key in the expression open bracket 4p minus 1, close bracket to the power of 3, and press Enter. Notice how P is not in bold, as it was in problem 1, because it hasn't been remembered as a variable. Here in problem 2, P is being treated as a pronumeral. Back in problem 1, P was treated as a constant with a value of 1.576. Our document now contains two problems. Once again, to view the overall structure of this document, Press Control, then Up. You can see the two problems are structured differently. And by using the directional arrows, you can choose to move between problems or within the pages of a problem. That's all for this session. Be sure to check out the other videos in this course. <laughs>